Um, my name's Denise and I'm um, a parent of St Dunstan's uh, Roman Catholic Primary School in Moston and I'm on the PTA as well. And what we've got here on Bluestone's allotment is we've got allotment for the school. And the reason we wanted to get an allotment for the school is because a lot of our children don't have gardens, they have yards and a lot of them are, are, were brought up in a concrete jungle. So we don't want them thinking that this fruit and veg just comes from the supermarkets. We want them to see how it's grown and so they can grow themselves. But also we want to get the teachers really inspired by this because we want um, them to see how gardening can link into the national curriculum for things like maths and English and science. Things that we use every day when we're gardening but you don't think you're actually using the English when you're reading the labels or using the maths when you're working out how many peas to plant and the distances. So we want to inspire the um, teachers that how easy it is for them to use in the natural curriculum because we've just got a grant of £5,000 from the Moston um, Warden's office to actually put up and um, set this up as two big polytunnels on here. And the idea being one would be covered with the green um, army mesh, so it's like a den and it's exciting and inspiring for the children, where the other one would be more as a polytunnel used for growing, but also be confined as uh, outdoor classrooms. Also, we've been given six fruit trees by Red Rose Forest Commission. Um, and some bare fruit bushes which were put along the bottom here as um, a, a fence to separate because I'm going to have a nice little orchard up there and Patrick from Edge Lane um, Allotments is actually helping us to do all the erecting to get all the quote and everything and he's going to do a lot of help to get it up and running because he's done this sort of thing before so the teachers can bring the children down here and even if they're not gardening can use it as an outdoor place so the children are getting uh, outdoor fresh air and activities. We've got a shed, we're going to have raised beds, we've got a wildlife area, we want the children to be creating the uh, bug hotels and the bird tables and the bee houses and all things like that so they can see how the whole ecosystem is, is works um, and how everything comes together. Get a wormery, compost bins, so they're feeding the worms, they're using the what the worm gives for the for the for the fertilizers. So the whole thing comes together. And if we inspire the teachers, that will then inspire the children because they use it. And then hopefully the children will then go home and talk to their parents about it. They'll be inspired and they'll want to come down and take part in what's happening down here. And also down here we want to be able to set up a gardening club where we'd charge a nominal fee, which probably be at like £12 for the year. Uh, however we do that, hasn't that hasn't been decided, but we thought we'd do that and then they'll get a welcome packet, they'll get seeds and they can come down and they can do some gardening. Um, they can have demonstrations of how to do gardening at different times of the year, what's in season, what's best to grow and when. So they can actually learn how to grow things in pots in their own backyard. And that's, that's what we want to do, get the community growing and expired. So lots of ideas. What do you now need to bring those ideas? We need volunteers, we need people who are passionate and willing and want to do some help for, for their school, for their children, for their community. We need people to come down to actually help do the manual labour, the digging and the lifting and the building of the beds to help put up the shed. And then when that's done in place to help maintain it, to paint it, look after it, to weed it. Because school is out for 13 weeks of the year and if it's not looked after it'll turn into a bed of weeds as much as it is now. Especially when you have as much rain as we've had recently. So if it's not maintained, it'll just get lost and we don't want to lose that. We want it to stay neat and tidy and maintained so people want to use it. Because if it looks like too much hard work, people won't want to use it. And where can people uh, find out a little bit about uh, They can find out more about it on the school's webpage. So only the children at school will have know the school's webpage and there's a PTA section under the parents section which tells you about it. And we've also got a Facebook account, which is St Dunstan's Moston Allotments, or also uh, Green Fingers, so you can actually find that. But the links to actually all that are all on the St Dunstan's School webpage, so you can actually just copy and paste or just click it and it'll take you straight to the link and tell you what it's all about.